everybody, let's sing this song. I know it's all over again. We can get
Thank you, oh God, for the teaching, oh my, that's going to come forth today. Lord God, that's going to stretch us, that's going to charge us, that's going to push us into our place of destiny. God, we surrender right now that we submit. We surrender and we submit. We surrender and we submit. Oh, God. We surrender and we submit. In the name of Jesus, Father, and if there is somebody, my God, that says, listen, I don't feel like it today, I bind the hand of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus. Lord God, that will cause them, for God, to not surrender and submit. Father, I speak in the name of Jesus that if the castle goes up, we all
You know my name, Jesus. Oh, how you walk with me. When we were saying everything, I, I kind of was thinking to myself, is he really your everything? Because you say it. But is he really your everything? When you had those right times, is he really your everything? David, you feel me? You understand? Is he really? Because can I, can I be honest with you? Because the enemy can't press rewind on me. I need y'all to get it on Zoom and Facebook and wherever you're looking. Yes, this day is for a day, but why am I talking about it? 
If you're not on tight yet, you can come and put the wrong thing in. Amen. Like, no more. 
So to help have water bottles for everybody, if families can just donate water. Now, if it's out of your range of funds, that's fine. We're just asking throughout the year, we'll keep our case of water um, built up or kept so that we all, everybody can have water as they please. Amen? Amen. Um, is there anything else? Oh, one other thing. Um, I need the lead, the minister leads to contact me. Uh, we had a, um, a meeting back in January, and we were supposed to get, I was supposed to get some updates of where all of these ministries at, are at, so that we're not at six months finding out that you guys haven't done anything. I did hear from um, Sir Jazz and his ministries, thank you, and Caprice. Um, but everybody else, if you are leading a ministry, just check in with me sometime. I only have a conversation if you don't want. You can text me what's going on or somehow let me know what's going on. I just want to find out if everybody's moving along as we wish. Amen? Amen. <laughs> so moving right along so we can get out of here at pizza time. And since Dre is not, Dre is not, <laughs> Pastor Dre is not here, um, want to take us somewhere else. We can move on to our empowering com conversation by our wonderful pastor. Well, thank you, David. Um, <laughs> John F. Clayton out here that will remember that this is our teaching Sunday. <laughs> our dress down Sunday. Um, the service that we get out a little bit. Please stand up as we go. this word. I believe in God's promise. Amen. I believe in everything that God said. Great things. And then they have the nerve to say, I have not seen. He has have not heard. Great things. That God has. It. Now I know some of y'all have no hope. Amen. But this scripture right here, I have not. And I've seen some things in 61. Hallelujah. I've seen God move. Yes, God. Amen. But tell you, may my eyes have not seen. Neither have he has heard. Yes. Neither has it entered into the hearts of men. Listen, that will keep you. Don't hear what I'm saying. That will keep you when days are dark and dreary. That eyes have not seen and ears are not supposed to preach. It, but great things, tell you, they were great yes. things on this earth. Hallelujah. Great things. Listen, great things, that's the thing. Great things. They don't believe that great things are yet to come. Come on. Hallelujah. Last week we heard, what about this next phrase? This part right there. Take no part, nothing. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm being real calm. Now. What if? What if? What if? What if? Then this morning I was, you know, I'm sorry. So we have people that are I'm being taped and I want to just explain to the people. Amen. Pastor, why do you let them dance and praise the Lord the way that they do? Amen. So I want to explain why. Amen. I don't need no help. I want to explain why. Because I remember when I went to church and I had to praise God in it. See? Listen. Hallelujah, mother. But I didn't think there was going to be no way. All I had left was some praise. Yes, sir. Some of y'all are in that place right now. We have to praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of y'all are in that place. Amen. Some of you are in the place where you're going to have to dance on it. On it. Hallelujah. Amen. Where your praise is signifying your possession. Y'all hear what I'm saying? But sometimes your praise has to signify your possession. Come on, Pastor. That's it. That's it. But the Bible says, wherever you put your trial, 
But, but some of y'all haven't tried anywhere, that's why you don't possess anything. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. But the Bible says, this is not in my notes. Wherever your foot shall try, I'm going to give uh -huh. back to you. Amen. But some of y'all are just, you know, y'all are really calm. And so I'm going to leave y'all calm today. Okay. Amen. I'm going to leave you when you Presbyterian. Good luck. And I remember, Pastor Dana, when I was in the thick of it, all I had was a prayer. That's all I had. So, Pastor, why do you let them praise? Because I remember what it was like to praise in the struggle. Oh my, I remember what it was. And it took years I was praising God in this struggle. Yes, yes. Amen. Now I'm in a different place now. Look, God, I'm like, I've got some victory. Right. And now my praise mother talks about the victory that God yes. The great things that God has done. Yes. And now that I'm older, i got to praise for you. Yes. Sometimes you got to praise God for somebody yes. else. Amen. That's why I bless the Lord for everything that God is doing. Amen. But tell your neighbor, God has so many. God, so Some of y'all, your list are short. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Your list is short. But God has so many. Mm, so many. Amen. 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 Check your list and check it twice. So many great things. So many. Amen. Amen. That God has in store. Thank you, Pastor Dana. Amen. All the deacons and all the officials. Amen. I'm trying to be good. Leave that alone. Because, uh, amen. I need to go food shopping. There's food in my house. Amen. There's no bit of rituals and no groceries. Amen. And if I can get started, but God has done so many great things. And while I was sitting there, Pastor Dan, I was just contemplating in the tears. Y'all don't, don't be paying attention to the pastor's tear. I, I was dabbing like the. You don't wipe, you dab. Y'all know nothing about that. You don't wipe, you dab. That's right, right, right. demonstration of gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Some of y'all think that it's sometimes chaotic. Amen. But God is moving. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes God has to disrupt. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Sometimes God has to dismantle. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Sometimes God just has to move some things out of the way and throw the whole program out. Yeah. Amen. Because some of us, listen, this women, there's a story about Joshua in the Bible. Yeah. Amen. And the story about Joshua before he got ready to fight in yeah. Jericho. Yeah. Amen. The captain of the host of the Lord came to him. Yeah. Amen. And then he had to so he Joshua had his own plan on how to fight the devil. Yeah. 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 Amen. And then the Lord gave him other instructions. Are you willing to follow other instructions? Yeah. And not keep going and okay, I'm just gonna stop yeah. Alright, just want to drop a couple of things for you today. Ooh, Amen. Amen. Let's go into Luke. Are you willing to follow the other instructions so the walls can be torn down? Ooh, Amen. Some of y'all still doing the same thing that did 5, 10, 15 years ago. And then you keep screaming at the wall because you keep doing it with your instruction. Oh, amen. And not with the instruction from, amen, the angel of the Lord, the word of the Lord, the mouth of the Lord. Amen. Because you really don't trust God's word. Oh. Amen. So I'm not screaming today. You really, really don't trust God's word. Some of us are not here because we really don't trust God's word. And then some of us are living in the houses we should that are part of our destiny because you really don't trust God's word. So let me tell you what I was going to tell you about. Because tell your neighbor it's going to cost you something. Pastor David, Pastor David, they don't know it's going to cost. Yes, it is. I'm just going to help God today. I'm just going to believe that. Because some of y'all want free stuff in God. Uh -oh. I just felt my Jesus right there. Some of y'all want free stuff. Amen. But the people, they don't understand. Amen. Oh, it's going to cost. Now, some of y'all, listen, listen. Amen. While I was sitting there saying, that some of y'all are ready for your next place. Amen. But the next place is going to cost you. Amen. amen. It's going to cost you. Amen. You might not be happy about the next place. It's oh, my cost you. goodness. Hallelujah. All right. I'm gonna, so I'm just going to just, the next place is going to cost you. Amen. But I paid price last week. Amen. You paid for groceries last week. But this week, I need to get new groceries. Yeah. 
Look God Almighty, in the next place that I'm going, it costs a little bit more. The sacrifice is greater. They, mother, they're missing it. They're missing it. What pastor you? Listen, this next place that I need to go with God is going to cost greater. They should, Sassy, they should have heard you two weeks ago when you told them about the cost that it was. They can pray it back. It was good. It was good. Sassy was good. Amen. All right, let's read the scripture. I'm just talking past the day. Amen. I'm going to hold right here. I'm staying in my baritone voice. Amen. Amen. But I think it's going to turn to the left. Yes. I think it's going to turn to the left. I just don't hit no buttons. Amen. Praise the Lord. I think I'm going to hit no buttons. Hezekiah says, I'm glad to be alive just one more day. day. That he kept me hallelujah. Yes, in this world God. of pain and grief. I have victory. I yes, think that's how Lord. I would go. I'm glad Lord. to be this. Listen, y'all not happy to be in the house of God. Because it could have been another day. It could have been. Amen, amen, amen. When I think about what's going on in Ukraine, it could have been. It could have been another one. Oh hallelujah. When I rode down here in my car, it could have been. And then I was downtown and other people got beat up and jumped downtown. But we walked downtown and nobody said nothing, did nothing to us. It could have been. See, I don't take, you, I don't take life for granted. You, I don't take the blood of Jesus Thank for granted. You. I don't take the power of God for granted. Thank I don't take you. prayer for granted. Y'all, some of y'all do. Because y'all got it like that. Mm. Listen, but you can have something in your purse, in your back pocket, and it not work when you come up against that. Right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. Let me just say Luke, the 14th chapter. Amen. Yeah. So I'm so good to see you again. God bless you. Amen. 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 There's a song. Was it Carolyn Moldy used to sing? All of my life, I'll say yes, Lord. Yeah. Because all of my life, I've been truly blessed, Lord. Yes. Because you gave to me Thy great salvation, and all I'll say is yes, 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 yes to my Lord. To those songs, have me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't even do that. Amen. I feel the presence of the Lord in my room. Yeah. All right. All right. That's another song. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I feel the glory of the Lord. You know, that's why I'm trying yeah. to keep us real quiet. Yeah. Sometimes you have to let the enemy know we can praise quietly. That's not going to work. It's okay. Luke 14 and 25. I'm going to read. Amen. Amen. And there went great multitudes with them. Luke 14 and 25. And he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brothers and sisters, yes, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me, yes, Lord, cannot be my disciple. But which of you intending to build a tower, sit it not down first and count it the cost? Whether he have sufficient to finish it, uh -huh. less happily after he have laid the foundation, is not able to finish it. All that belong, all that behold it, begin to mock him. See, that's the problem with some of us. Some of us started, and we didn't finish the work, and so people are mocking us. Jesus. Amen. Okay. Amen. Everybody say you got to persevere. Got to persevere. In order to win. In order to win. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody can hear that. Yeah. You got to persevere. Yeah. You got to persevere. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You gotta have bulldog tenacity. Yes. Bulldog. You gotta have pit bull. Yes. Amen. Tenacity. That's why sometimes when the pit ball come up the street, some of y'all go across the street, but you know that pit ball whole latch on you almost gotta yes. shoot it. Uh -huh. Amen. You gotta do like that. God, I'm not gonna let you go to you. Come on. Yes. It's gonna cost. I want somebody to hear me today. It's gonna cost you something. Some of somebody said, Well, Lord, I want this and I want that. Amen. God said, Listen, it's gonna cost. Are you willing to pay the cost? Ah. Amen. So he said be willing. Listen, my life, I really thought that I had paid the cost that's the day. Amen. But every new place is a never another change change, brother. Yeah, another change. It's another it's another Listen. Lord, I have paid everything that I could have. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus. Every time God starts to reveal some new things in my spirit, I'm going to hear what I'm saying. You got to authorize the train. Listen, like listen, but I think I've I figured out God. Because some of us think that we figured out God. But I figured out God. God moves. Uh -huh. God moves to a different place. So I don't become so comfortable with God. I don't, I don't become comfortable with the idea of God. God has to move himself. Hey, this is in my scripture. I don't want to get there. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, I'm 
I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. Okay. It's good to me. Uh, let's have both yes, leave the God. I said that part. Or not, uh, what is it? This man began to build and was not able to finish. So the king going to make war against another king sit it not down first and uh, consulted whether he be able to, uh, with 10,000 men to meet him that cometh to get him with 20. Or else, while the other is yet far away, he sent an ambassador and desired conditions of peace. Likewise, whosoever he be, that of you that forsake him not all, cannot be my disciple. No, wait, if I'm going to teach today, amen, I don't know what's going to happen. So a disciple is a follower. Amen. A disciple is a follower. Yes. Amen. If you follow, that means somebody's leading. Right. Somebody. Now disciples and followers don't have, they don't talk back. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's right, minister. They do what they're told. Okay. When was the last time you really did what God told you to do? Okay. Amen. Amen. Because you can't, like Pastor Davis said, you can't dictate your yes. No. Right. Amen. And some of us, listen, some of us aren't where we need to be in our lives, in our health, in our careers, because we keep trying to dictate our yes under our own conditions. Right, but where you been when the sons of the morning came together? You're preaching. Mm. You want to dictate. You want to manipulate things. Correct. Amen. But tell your neighbor, you can't manipulate God. You can't. Now, God really don't believe that. <laughs> they really don't believe that. Since they really, people really believe I'm going to negotiate with God. God don't care about your negotiation tactics. How do you know, how do you know, Pastor? I'm gonna help y'all out. Jonah thought that he was gonna negotiate, negotiate with God. Yeah, uh -huh. Listen, some of y'all are afraid to do the will of God because you know what's gonna happen when you do it. Mm, right. That's the story of Jonah. I'm gonna help hey. y'all out. Jonah ended up in the belly of the well because of greatness, excuse me. Amen. Because Jonah this Jonah was a prophet. He knew that if he went where God told him to go, mother, that God was gonna turn the situation around. Right. And some of y'all don't really want to pay the price because you know God's going to turn some things around. Right. Oh, right. 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 It's going to cost me. It's going to cost me. Mother's going to cost me. And I believe that we don't give up what we got because we like what we got. And in our head, our mouth say one thing, but our heart is far from God. And then so we say the things, amen, that we, that sound good. Amen, but there's a, a level miss. There's a disconnect between what's in your spirit and what's in your head. Get, listen, listen, you'll bring the blessing of God in your life when these things connect, okay? Amen. Work it out. Amen. 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 Not a church goer, because some of y'all are church goers. Right. They church goers. Amen. We go for the music. We go for the good song. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. All right. So as a follower, one who not only accepts the, you have to accept the view of a teacher. Some of us don't have teachable skills. Mm. Mother, are you praying for me, mother? Wow. Me. Mother, I'm, just, I'm trying to hold my oil. <laughs> Some of us don't have teachable spirits because we think we know the way. We think we know everything. Because mm. I've been around, I've seen everything. Because some church or some pastor gave you a little bit of authority. You think you. Mm. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm. Preach. I'm not preaching, I'm just talking. So. <laughs> You accept the views of your teacher. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Oh Hallelujah. They used to teach us how to sit at someone's feet. Yes. Yes. And when they told us to wash the toilet, amen. When they told us to do other things, right, Mother Lena? Uh, we did yes. it out of the spirit of obedience. Yes. Right. We didn't speak. See, some of us are cursed because we, we had the spirit of rebellion in church. Okay? Right. Right. Amen. Right. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Uh -huh. Amen. But that means you're just a fan. Uh oh. Amen. I don't want a church full of fans. Right. Amen. Ooh. Just people that follow tag alongs. I don't want a church full of tag along. Amen. We need we need adherence. What does adherent mean? Adherent is somebody that sticks to. Ooh. Where he leads me. I will follow. Mm -hmm. Stick to it today. Some of us don't have stick to it this. And then when the heat gets up out and he said, but slips. Yeah, right. Get a little loose. We go. We're tossed to and fro with every wind and every doctrine because we don't have no stick to it to this. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help the people. See, 
Sassy can have stick to itiveness because she did the work in the spirit. So that when her flesh said no, her spirit said, wait a minute. Yes. Yes. Now, God don't lie. Yes. When my mouth and my brain can't say nothing, guess what? In my spirit. Mm -hmm. See, some of y'all have to choose. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gummy. Uh-huh. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. All right. So we might say that a Christian is a voluntary learner mm -hmm. in the school of Christ. Mm -hmm. And some of y'all haven't gotten out of first grade. Oh. And then in church 25, 30 years, you haven't gotten out of first grade. Oh. Therefore, leaving the basic principles of Jesus Christ, let us move on to. How can you finish oh, answering the next question? Perfection. Yes. Some of us are still laying on hands. There's some other things God wants to show you. There's some spiritual warfare. Amen. That God wants to show you. Graduate. Listen. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you didn't count up the car. Listen. Some things, God. See, some of y'all still fighting with your mouth instead of shutting up and let the Lord fight. Wow. Oh, you're teaching. Oh, we got to let you teach. Oh, I didn't get past the one yet. It's good. It's really good. Jesus says, "Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your soul." We really don't understand what Jesus is saying here. Jesus is saying, "There's other yokes." Mm. Oh, other yokes. There are other yokes. There's other yokes, Deacon. There's other yokes. Listen, you want to be yoked by somebody or something, but Jesus said, "Take my yoke." You want to be yoked, but you buy. Well, they they listen. You want to be yoked by something. You want to be yoked by something. Every human being, you want to be? Listen. Why not? But Jesus said, take my. And when he said my yoke, he's making a differentiation between other yokes. And his yoke. And his yoke. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Take my yoke mm -hmm. and do what? Learn of me. Uh -huh. Learn something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Learn something. Be my partner. <laughs> uh -huh. But we must realize that even in this day and time, amen, that everybody that comes to salvation and gets to know Jesus Christ, are not willing to come to him with sacrificial service. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost That's the thing. I'm just talking to that. Amen. It's going to cost. Mother, it's going to cost. Amen. Yeah. Just like all these degrees I've got cost me and I'm still paying. There's some. I'm reaping the benefits, but I'm still paying. Yes. Yes. You authorize the transaction. <laughs> that, that part right there. So there's a difference between a disciple and a believer. Many people want the accolades. Listen to me, Pastor Danny. They want the accolades because preachers and teachers have let you seen accolades, but you haven't seen something. I told Pastor Dana, I told Pastor Dana that some, this, this new young, this new generation, they don't know how to suffer, mother. Mother, they don't know how to suffer like we know how to suffer, mother. Y'all don't know how to suffer like we know how. What are you talking about? There were times I was suffering, I was still dancing. Yes. You couldn't even know. tell I was something unless you were steeped in God. But in this generation, if you if you need you bump your knee, the whole church got sitting up. <laughs> 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 really don't know how. But the Bible says that we suffer with him. God Almighty, Some of y'all really don't know how to suffer. Hallelujah. The song we used to say, I learned how to live. Ah, learn I, how to live right. Learn how to suffer. Because if I suffer, I'll gain. I'll gain. Do you really know how to suffer? Woo. Amen. Are you just going through because of stuff that you put in the earth? Okay. Oh. Uh -oh. The difference between because what you, you must be not deceived. God is not my what's for a man's song. That shall he also reap. Right. And then when you when you suffer because of your reaping, you get no glory for that. Right. Because many of the things that we've been through, we put it into the earth. And we forgot about it because we didn't get the due recompense in the time that we thought that we were going to get it. And God waited two or three years later. And now you want to say, I'm suffering for the cause of Christ. The devil is alive. You lied on somebody and came back to bite you. Right. You got to go to I'm not trying to bring this. I'm not trying to bring this. Amen. Not a difference between suffering for Jesus Christ and suffering because you. Not a difference. Not a difference. Now you might have to dance either way. But the Bible says when you suffer because of things you've done, take it joyfully. You call it Amen. You pay for it. You pay for that. You might as well take it. You pick the bad relationship. You bought it with your yet. Break you by. Be careful what you 
good. I mean, hallelujah, it's going to cost you. Yes, it's going to cost. It's going to cost. You hold your oil, good. Yes, it's going to cost you. Hallelujah. Yes, it is, Caprice. Amen. You want to be anointed, your anointing is going to cost. Don't let these preachers fool you that are on TV and all these, all these little churches like that, you know, running around with fancy clothes. It costs you something to live right for God. Yes, it does. Yes, it does, Pastor. Don't be fooled. Yes, it does. I want to get behind the sacred just how I want to prophesy. No, 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 baby. It's going to cost you to really be anointed. Oh, yeah. Power, peace, of honor, and holiness. Without which no man shall see God. You really ain't going to sit there. Other people can do some things that me and Pastor Dana can't do. And in my spirit, I look at them and say, you know what God said? No, you can't do that. Well, God, that's not in the Bible. I don't care that it's not in the Bible. It's what it costs you. Mm -hmm. God ain't got no buy now, pay later plans. Listen. No. <laughs> <laughs> the plan of God, the real plan of God is to make us not believe us, but the same. Romans 8 and 29, for whom he did foreknow, he did also predestinate to be conformed or pressed into the image of his son. Mm. That he might miss it. Conform. Mm -hmm. And press. Press. God is the only one I know that can take a round peg and put it in a square hole. Mm -hmm. And make it fit. And make it fit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so some of us, we don't want God to do that. We want to be comfortable and go in a hole. We want, okay. Like the big one. And think that's where anointing comes from. <laughs> anointing comes from when you are round peg going into a square hole. Listen, that's what, let's work see. that out, Pastor. That's, listen, listen, I'm just trying to help y'all. When you go into the round hole and you're a round peg, it go in easy. Amen. Amen. But when you, listen, that's why I have embraced my otherness. Right. My otherness. Because yeah. I could have done it the easy way, but there was no anointing in the easy way. Right. There was comfortability in the easy way. Mm -hmm. right. Mother, it wouldn't have cost me no. right. nothing. Because anything worth having is mm -hmm. working for. Mm -hmm. okay. I won't bring my relationship to know. <laughs> How wonderful it sounds to be like Jesus. Oh, I want to be like him. Humble and holy. Meek and lowly. Oh, I want. Some of y'all don't even know what you're saying. Sometimes when you sing stuff, that's your confession. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You want to be careful what you say. Okay. Amen. I say, I'm careful what I say. Let me bring you my place. It's life and death. Mm -hmm. It's an apostle. It's an apostle. It's about what you talk about. Sometimes it's what you sing about. Oh. And let me help you out. The melody helps anchor it in your soul. Right. That's real. The melody helps anchor the song in your spirit. How do you know, Pastor? Oh. Uh, so you hear a melody and can't remember the words, but the melody was hit. Oh, you right. That's right. That's why you got to be careful what you feed your spirit with. Oh, my. Last night, we went, the men went to an event last night. Amen. They played a Luther Bandro song. I don't even do Luther. I'm just listening to the song. Look, you be going to be careful yeah. what songs you listen to, what yeah. melody, and what beat you listen to. Because sometimes it has control. It's a, it's a binding to your spirit. Oh. Amen. When you can't remember the word, Sassy, that song. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm careful. My comfort by day. Mm -hmm. My song in the night. Mm -hmm. Oh, that whose presence. My soul chased the light. On whom in affliction I call my comfort by day. Mm -hmm. My song in the night. My hope. My salvation, I surrender all to thee. Mm -hmm. In my struggle, who's going to come up? Then they play, they play the little Anita Baker. I was like, oh, I'm <laughs> Anita. And then they turned around and they played the little OJ, and he didn't have the right. So I had the melody. Oh, okay. He didn't have the skin and have with Gerald LeVert. Y'all going to come up. <laughs> but do you? No, that's the old the father. Yes. Mm -hmm. But we have not considered what it really takes to be like Jesus. Stop repeating stuff if you don't want it. Oh. Am, I, am I helping the mother leave this? Yeah. They, told, they told me when you got on that altar, be careful what you said on that altar because your spirit was open. That's right. Amen. Don't say yes if you don't mean yes. That's right. Some, just mean no and stick to your no. Okay. 
Wow. Wow, okay. That's good. Pastor. In our text, Jesus is plainly describing the terms of discipleship. He says, first you got to deny yourself. Some of us think too much of ourselves. So that's the problem why we can't deny ourselves and be a disciple. The Bible says, let no man think more highly than he ought. You don't do that. Yes. Thank you, Mother. Thank yes. you, Mother. Thanks for praying for me, Mother. I'm just trying to help people. That's why some of y'all get, get to your next because you can't deny yourself. Mm. Mm. If anyone comes to me, let him do that. Why? You know, he can't be my disciple. If anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father, mother, I'm going to help y'all. Some of y'all got soul ties to mama and daddy and they still holding you and they're not here. Some of y'all got mothers and fathers that's still alive and keeping you hostage. Amen. See, real love sets you free. Yes, it does. 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 We got three boys, and sometimes we got to step back and set you free. Yes, yes. Be careful when people try to control you and try to be God in your life. Oh, my part right there. Good God Almighty. Listen, some of y'all not free because you got too many gods. That's what happened to other God. Oh. If your mama, your father, your sister, your brother, your auntie, your husband, your spouse, I know people that can't be free because they worship at the altar of their spouse. Let them go. Ooh. Pray for me, mother. You worship. Mm. Listen, I come to my relationship whole. Listen, if my mother and my father forsake me, then the Lord. But some of y'all are even open for the Lord to take you up because you're still locked into the other. When faced with choices between family, friends, and relationships, the choice oh, must be Jesus. It has to be. Got to be. So I'm careful what I say out my mouth. Lord, I'm going to have a ministry of love. God said it's going to cost you. Uh, yes. they, mother, they didn't know that. What did that mean? That means people are going to hurt you. Uh, and you're going to be tried by your love. Uh, yes. Listen, listen. Hear what I'm saying? Oh, yes, Lord. I want to love ministry. Yes, Lord. God said, okay, I'm going to send them. Mm -hmm. As they come, what you going to do with that? Try them in my love. Listen, the people that you like can only take you so far. <laughs> At some point, you won't have to go all the way. Right? Listen, God has a way of kicking out crutches so that you can really trust God. That's why, yes, he does. How many of you have had crutches kicked from underneath you? Walk with them. Walk with them. But some of y'all not. See, here's the thing. So I'm going to help this thing from a demonstrate because my bishop told me how to demonstrate back mm -hmm. at 4862. People have crutches, right? Uh -huh. And then when the crutches, but some of y'all keep holding on to the crutches, you don't even know if you can stand. Because mm -hmm. you trust the crutches. Right, you don't even know. Sometimes you got strength already in your ligaments and your bones and your knees, but you've gotten so used to crutches, right, David? Right. Amen. That, oh, you know, I need my crutches. And sometimes I look at y'all and say, that's a crutch. Why don't you get rid of that crutch? And you might stumble, but you'll still stand for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let me go. Following Jesus involves a clash of loyalties. There's going to come a point in your relationship, in your life, where there's going to be a clash of loyalties. Uh -huh. When you're confronted. All right, my mom, I can hear you. Amen, amen. We must love Christ and his cause more than life itself. Jesus said, if you lose your life for my sake, you'll gain it. Right. Oh, I come to you might have life and have a more life. Yes, God. How about you got to lose your life to get come a more life? Come on, that part right there. Wow. Yeah. We must cease the self-centered life of I, me, mine, and allow ourselves to be shaped after the manner of Christ. Pressed, molded, reshaped, dismantled. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, being in the form of God, right? Made himself of no reputation. Some of us are living for reputation, not for God. Man, oh man. We're talking past again because you know we've been dancing and carrying on for the last couple of weeks and so. Hey. Amen. I'm just trying to get this word across. This good. This good. This are you willing to lose? Listen, are you willing to lose your reputation so you can see God's glory? Mm. Yeah. Now let me be clear. There's some people that don't want God's glory, uh -oh. and we have to be okay with the fact that some people don't want God's glory because they don't want to pay the price. Listen, but don't be mad at me. Listen, don't be mad at me. Pastor. Pastor. When, when I, I walk in my abundance. When I get done. Don't be mad at me. When, when, when I walk day. in the right mind. You had your chance. And my body is healed because I paid the yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. And these blessings shall follow. Don't be upset and be jealous. Because every place that my foot I paid. Mm -hmm. Every 
Pastor. Uh, come on, come on, come on, see, they're going to be all right. Be just right. Amen. Uh, listen, listen, you won't, listen, I don't care if you're going to be all right. I pay the price for mine. Right. You, I'm going to do like the old people in the South. You, you ought to learn how to fend for yourself. Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha. Well, Pastor, can you pray? Pray for what? Pray for what? Because you're not willing to pay the price. No prayer is going to help. There's some things that are wrought by prayer. Some things got to pay the price for, and some of y'all really don't. Do the work. That part. W-R. Mm-hmm. The real disciple, I'm almost done. I think I'm almost done. It's the story I'm going to get to. I think I'm going to have to dance over this story. The real disciple denies. The real disciple denies what your flesh demands. I just got to have them. I just got to have her. Amen. I just got to have them. Listen, that's a problem. You tell them, anytime you have, you just got to have somebody, the urge. Listen, we used to say, you can have this whole wide world, but I'll take Jesus for my... Some of y'all walking, I'm just going to hang out with this person until they buckle down and give me what I want. Mm. Listen, there might be a reason why you didn't get that person, because they might do more damage when you get Listen. Listen. Am I doing all right? I'm doing all right, Tasha. You were praying for me. I'm a cash. Amen. Tasha, I'll be the Lord. Okay. We deny our own ways, our own rights. See, I'm, I can talk it. I can talk this scripture. I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. They, they used to tell me, Johnny, get up on the cross. I'm like, these saints, old saints, it's crazy, because I'm humble. They were like, no, no, baby, it's the cross for you. Mm. I was like, they just don't like me. Mm. That was my ego. <laughs> I didn't want to do the work. Uh-huh. You, you got to die. Your ego got to die. Mm-hmm. Get on the cross. My right. Jesus gave the cross alone. All my the world God. Yes. yes, there's a cross for everyone. Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a cross They're all different. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah, because but PD's cross is not my cross. Uh-huh. You gotta take up your cross. You must be willing to carry that thing which is heavy. Right. Yeah. Oh, God, it's heavy. Oh. They want this is a heavy weight. Listen, heavy listen. Weight. You wanna be a heavy weight in God? Learn how to carry your heavy weight. Learn how to carry it. You wanna be a heavy weight? Sassy tell them they wanna be heavyweight. You wanna be sick sometimes, you wanna be carrying that. Do you really? Do you really? Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. You must carry it until our assignment is over. Mm-hmm. And just when it gets to heaven, oh, you are your uh-huh. right, it's the, best the, the cross, Pasadena, amen, stands for shame, death, and suffering. It's a symbol of rejection by the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bearing your own cross is a matter of choice. Yes. I choose. I choose. Right. Good. That's what I see. Mother, I choose. Caprice. Yeah, I, I choose. choose. Yes, sir. Put the green button. I got, Pasadena, I got will and worship. Yes. My grandmother used to be a part of the willing oh, worker at the Baptist church. Yes, I'm a willing worker. I've seen worker. Listen, what you mean you will? I've seen God do it before. I know God can do it. Yes, I've seen him. Yes. I've seen him. I've seen him. So I'm I willing. I know what's coming. David, maybe he didn't do it for me, but he did it for Pastor Dana. Amen. Hope springs eternal that God will bless Dana and then he will turn around. Woo. I'm going to get so happy for my sister. I'm going to dance even though I don't yeah. dance. Maybe if I dance and worship God, I'll bring it into my own reality. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to have the spirit of jealousy and envy and strife. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. She got them cute jeans on and that cute outfit in that car. I'm going to dance with her. Yeah. You're by yourself. Yeah. I don't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Amen. Don't have that spirit of jealousy and envy in your spirit. It's a curse. Yeah. Amen. It won't bring your blessing. Listen, it won't bring your blessing. But what's going to happen is when they don't... I don't even have to know what my sister's oh, dancing about. The Bible says rejoice with us. Yes, that's his word. Yes. My God. Come on. Come let us bow, worship bow, bow down. Yes. Let us kneel before the Lord our That's good, Pastor. Go magnify the Lord with, with me. me. But I got to know what she's dancing about. No, you don't. Because no, if you knew what she was dancing about, if you, baby. you might lose confidence. <laughs> if you knew what she was dancing about, she might not be dancing to victory. I'm trying to help you. Every dance is not a victory dance. Some dances is Lord, help me.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every dance. Every dance that I dance. Amen. Sometimes I'm struggling past the day when I'm dancing. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Yes. Hallelujah. Have you been through what I've been through? Wait a minute. Some of y'all can't take what I've been through. That's the thing. You might, you might want the accoutrement that comes with it. You might want that. You might want the house and the car. Right. Woo! Good God about it. If you knew, Pastor Dana, if they knew what God took me to get to this place, I'm just like helping. Yeah. Amen. You look at Gucci and Louie, you look at all of that. But there was a time when it was just peanut butter and jelly and me and Louie by myself. Listen, my job is to free the house. My job is to free people. Listen, sometimes when I got to pray, it's not always howdy, howdy, and everything's fine. That's right. That's right. Time to in my house. Listen, listen, sometimes, since I'm praising God, because you know what? I want to keep my mind. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, the only way that I can keep saying is I will keep him in perfect peace with your mind. Stay with me. And sometimes it's just a praise of thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. God, I love you. God, I worship you. God, I adore you. Amen. Yeah. I don't have the words of prayer. So don't judge my praise. Don't judge my praise. Don't magnify the Lord with me and let us have something to do with you. Real mature church, don't we don't get in folks real. I don't, listen, I don't get in your business. Amen. If you want to dance, baby, I'm going to dance with you. Amen. If I get to be 85, I'm going to be 85. The doctor said I'm going to live on, but I'm going to wave my hand. Yeah. I'm going to wave my hand. Hallelujah. Me and Pastor Daniel are sitting there. We can get a foot up. Amen. Because some of us got more power and attack. Yeah. But don't judge somebody else's friends. Don't judge, don't Amen. Don't judge when they fall out in the floor. Amen. I'd rather listen. I'd rather you fall out in the floor than lay up with everybody. Right Am I doing all right? I'm trying to read the house. Amen. But if it wasn't for Floyd Main Street, some of us would have laid up with a whole lot of people. You better look there. I'd have laid down and picked up a couple of people if it wasn't for that poor ministry on Sunday. So thank God anybody got to clap their hands for poor ministry. I'm not ashamed to have to take up poor ministry. No, I'm not. Listen, I'm not ashamed to sit in this chair and cry, but when I thought about what God had done. And I'm talking about material things. Y'all hear what I'm saying. Material things will be corrupted, thieves and thoughts and steal it. But listen, this joy. Listen, the Bible says that Moses chose rather to suffer. Yes. Well, Pastor, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You choose to suffer mm. rather than enjoy the pleasure. Listen, I'm going to help y'all out. Because what you do in sin is only for a season. Mm -hmm. yes. it don't last. Amen. Oh, Amen. Don't listen. It's only for a season, Pastor. Amen. Amen. That's all that joke you can do is a season. That's all that joke you can do. That's it. Y'all follow that closely. Ah. Amen. It could be he, him, they get wow. It's only for a season. But Paul said it this way, for I reckon that the presence, the sufferings of this present time are not worth right. to be compared. If you're going to compare your struggle to something, compare it to glory, that shall be revealed. Sometimes that's the thing I was dancing because of glory that was going to be revealed. I know, Pastor. Y'all don't know. That's why some of us can't make it. We, don't, we haven't gotten a glimpse of glory. We've been listening to people that put limitations on us. Amen. And not listening to the glimpse of glory. God has yes. many great things in store so, for me. Yeah, Wait a minute, I don't feel like I'm great. It don't matter. It don't matter. God has it don't matter. great things in store for me. Can't you see? Hmm. How about I ask somebody? I don't care if you don't see. God has. Because you're not the arbiter. Listen, you're not the arbiter of my blessing. If the saints had had that way, I wouldn't be here today. The Holy Ghost people speaking in tongues and trying to arbitrate or. You can be blessed when you can. Right. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, Tell surprise. Tell the name, I'm still here. I'm still here. And it's all by the grace of God. Surprise, surprise. That's good, Pastor. Pastor Dana, I'm still here. I'm still here. The doctor told me I'm going to be here a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, Much indeed, yeah. should be. Yeah. When we embrace the adverse circumstances, I like that James Leaving thing. No cross. No crown. Mm -hmm. Y'all want a crown, but you don't want to pay the price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
When we embrace the adverse circumstances of life as instruments of death to our selfish, self-centered lives, we are buried on the cross. Listen, I'm going to read this. You were made. Amen. I'm getting to this good scripture. I might have to dance on this. You were made for the storms of life. But some of you don't know that you were made for the storms of life because when the storm comes, you turn and go to safe harbor. Right. right. How do you, listen, you don't know what you're made of. You don't know what you're made of until you get in the storm. That's right. How do they know that that moment Dick Plain is able to, come on, mother, how do they know when it gets into turbulence? Some of y'all want to, listen, turbulence, or I'm going to run around. That's why you don't have no stick to itiveness. That's why you don't have no stability. See, some of us been through turbulence before. Yes. Amen. And we lost some things, and sometimes yeah. we have to drop some luggage in the turbulence. Oh, they didn't want to get that part back. Yes. Hey, God, wait. Sometimes you have to wait. drop some things in the turbulence. Yes. Hallelujah. But we ain't you. I hate that. Ah. So let me just one of my biggest scriptures, and I'm not going to finish it. Amen. But listen, I've been through the storm and I rain, but I made it. And so when the next storm comes, GG, I'm not fretting about the storm. I know. <clears throat> so I, I, I know about storms. I was made for. But Pastor, they don't talk about you. I was made for people to talk about. Matter of fact, when you talk about me, I'm happy. Because you're, help, you're, help, you're helping me to suffer and Come get on. to glory. Come so on. I look at things differently than some of y'all. Well, I'm going to fight her because she's saying something about me. <laughs> well, then you've gotten your reward. Listen, I've been Pastor Davis to listen. Go ahead and talk about us. We gonna turn. You would rather us fight you than we pray and dance for you. You would rather that. Because if you come for me and Pastor David, see, some of y'all don't know spiritual warfare. See, the enemy knows how to poke you and go to all. Uh -huh. Amen, Mother David. But listen, the Bible says, listen, bless those that curse you. That's right. right. That's what it says. Woo! Come, come, come on, Mother. It's strategy. They're not paying attention to Jesus. Y'all paying attention to, oh, naming and claiming is yours for the asking. But I paid attention to strategy. What you want to do when they lie on the dance right in front of them and say, God bless you, the Lord is good. Yes. Right. Because I know, guess what? If I get you, God's not going to get you. Right. So what I'm going to do is turn you over to the hand of the Lord and right. to the dangerous when the pastor and when the church and other people turn you over to the land. Listen, I don't mess up. I, I got some people that know how to call on God. Mother, they know how to call on God. I stay on there. To some of y'all not smart. I hang up with the folks that know how to call on God. Matter of fact, David, if I think I've crossed them, because I respect their anointing that much and the things that they suffer to get into that place of God. See, y'all miss that seriously, did what it means to pray for Jesus. Jesus, that part, right? There. God, listen, 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 even if I think, amen, I offended Mother Lena, because I want her to keep covering me and I don't want her to be interrupted in her covering of me. If I think, before I, Mother Lena, I, I think that I said something about your Mother Lena, will you forgive me? Mother be like, I don't know what that's about. But that's okay, son. I'm just trying to help you. I don't mess with anointed people. I don't worry about choir singers. Sometimes, sometimes choir singers don't have no anointing. <laughs> they got performance. Right. 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 When you gonna give up your performance and get an anointing? Right. That was when you gonna give up your performance and have an anointing? Give up the when you gonna give up the form? But deny the, stop denying the power of God power. to change your life. Man, when you going to do that? Well, you know, people used to get saved when we used to say uh -huh. in EGD day. Because the glory of the Lord would be upon the people because they all of them paid the price. Right. Not we let anybody say and do anything in the church that we want to do. Amen. Right. 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 But I'm not going to give it a big, I'm going to have a recording choir. God didn't call us to have a recording choir. God don't need a recording choir. See? So I'm just rapping. Yes. God did. I just need my God don't, listen, God don't need a recording choir. I'm just trying to help y'all. Because let me tell you, there was more mess on the recording choir. Now say no record choir. That's why some of us are jacked up because we sang on the recording choir. So if we don't ever have a recording choir, I'm going to sit right here and sing, God has done, and they don't have to be there to get up here singing and try to be hold the church hostage because they don't want to sing. Right. I'm going to play a track and search your ass and I'm going to do it on the limit. Because I'm willing to pay the cost of having no choir to have God's anointing. Oh! 
Yeah. Well, you're not gonna have no singers. I got one, two, three. Amen. <laughs> 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 All right, so let me read this scripture. Yes. Right. I'm going to read this, and I'm going to try not to preach it. This is the story of Job. Yeah. It's Wait a minute, that's a good one. That's a good one, Pam. That's a good one, Pam. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. This joke is good. Billy Master, I want the patience of Job. Don't pray that. Stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. All I want. I think it was Tammy's story. All I want, patience of Job. No, no, don't do it. No. All I want, the patience of Job. Be careful what you have. Okay. Be careful. So this is what. See, some of the saints that want you to believe that you can't complain with God. Mm. No. Let me help some of y'all. You can complain. Tell me, say, you can complain. Listen. And sometimes the complaint is more than you. See, some of y'all would have been more deliberate if you really took your complaint to God and not to people. Wait a minute. Job oh, had some friends. Job had some friends. Amen. Oh, and that was a death complaint. Okay. That's what it did. Mm -hmm. Oh. But Job, listen, I'm going to read this scripture and I'm going to take my seat and see what the Lord wants to say. We're going to go home. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to the, I was going to say Piggly Wiggly, that's the outside. I'm going to go to the giant and go on this list and get the seat off this list. Yes, I am. Because I promise we would get out at a decent time. Woo. So, this is what Job said to God. Don't believe these saints that say you can't complain to God. That you can't pour out your heart to God. Amen. Those people want you in bondage. Want you all listen. When you go off in church, when you go off in church, and they hear us, says nobody do that. Oh, see, they got right now. Yeah, listen, listen. I'm gonna talk to God. How do y'all really talk to God? Yeah. Listen, don't be all deep in no. Hello. Most holy and righteous. Listen, Yo. listen. Yo. listen Yo. I'm over it. Sometimes in your suffering, you gotta say, God, I'm over it. Yeah. I, I do over it. I do That don't mean you wanna get out the process. You just wanna vent. Mother, I'm trying to help the saints. Sometimes you just want to scream. Lord, I'm weary. I don't want to get out. Jesus, I know this. I'm going to tell you why you don't want to get out, but I got to read this in a minute. Listen, sometimes you just got to complain with God. Yeah. Hear me. Yeah. 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 Holy Jesus. Listen. <laughs> now, I'm trying to say, don't, do don't lose it. And sometimes you got to cuss to God. Don't cuss God. But sometimes you got to cuss to God. And the saints act, listen, this is what I'm saying. And the saints act like God haven't heard cuss words. He made them. No, God didn't make them. God didn't make them. Man made them. Don't so act like God hasn't heard. All these people in the world cussing, you act like God never heard cussing. Now I don't want y'all to cuss, because God ought to change your language. Say that! Pastor Dana, I'm a pastor, I'm a pastor. I'm a pastor. But sometimes, in your secret closet, God, I'm tired. Over it. Then I bring somebody in here. Sometimes. In the seat. Now the pastor don't want it. In the seat. You're doing real good. God, I want you to take this joker out and then repent and say, Leave that quote. Yes. That's what I Charlie Caesar used to say, If I take it to the Lord, I know I won't. Hear it again. Sometimes. You gotta worry about it. Listen, listen, listen. That's the problem. That's why some of y'all cussing out because y'all not. In your prayer closet. Oh, Talking to God. You try to be cute with God. You try to be like Pastor. Well, Pastor David. Never mind. You try to be all. La, 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 Listen, don't go on with your own plan. Listen, listen, listen. Because when God does it, it's going to cost you something. Just say, God, Lord, you. Help. Oh. Look, God, man. Don't tell God how you want God to do it. Just say, God, do it. Yes, oh. I'm just trying to teach y'all. Listen, if you really believe God's word and really trust God's word, just go on your knees and say, God, do it. Cry a little bit. Woo. Because some of y'all think it's not strength to cry. Listen, be vulnerable with God. Sometimes. Lord, You'll come up out of that altar healed again. Okay. I'm gonna read this, mother. I'm trying to get to this favorite scripture. I got to see that here, Lord. Even today is my complaint bitter. This is Joe. Joe said, "Look, God, I'm tired of this. Mm -hmm. My wife, my kids. My Everybody, wife, I, listen. My woman said, "Curse God, not mm -hmm. house blew down, kids all dead. Mm -hmm. 
and you give me these three Joker friends over here, and they talk about it. And they talk about it. I'm using my own language, you know. I'm just going to help you. I don't know all the language. Amen. These Jokers are getting on my nerves. It's supposed to be comforting me. See, that's why you got to be careful where you go to, but sometimes people ask. And then they think they're doing well, but what they're doing is really pouring salt in your wounds. Listen, when you are around people and you feel uncomfortable and your spirit is unbalanced, amen, you need to extricate yourself from that. So, so much I'm trying to help the people. I'm trying to be practical. It wasn't a thou in there. That's right. Even today is my complaint bitter. God, I'm bitter. Angry. Mm -hmm. My stroke is heavier than my groaning. Oh, God, where are you so I can talk to you? Yeah, show up. I need to see you. Where, where are you at? Face to face. I, I, I translation you got past. I'm trying to do the best I can. Where is it? Oh, that I might find him. That I might come where you are. And let's have a seat and discuss what's going on in my life. Because yeah. I ain't happy about it. Listen, it's okay to be happy about the price that you have to pay. Just be willing to complain and pay the price. Yes. Thank you, Lord. It's good. Can you hear me now? And this is not for those people. This is for this church because we have special things going on here. <laughs> it's not not working somebody else's ministry, but for this church, Ooh, it works. God, this ain't working for me. It ain't working. I'm a little bitter with you, God. That's an issue. But something in my spirit just keeps you up. It something does. in my spirit. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Because some of y'all got bitter, but you had nothing. You had no foundation. Where I can find them, I might come even to the sea. I'm going where God is. I'm not asking God to see me. I'm going God. where God is. Yes. So clearly, He ain't coming where I am. Yes. So, I'm, so hey. I need to go where God is. I'm right. so enough. That's the only time I want to be I ain't got no Whatever God is, so we can discuss this circumstance, right? Y'all? I ain't got no appointment. I'm just so enough. God, if you in hell, I'm going to hell. So you and I can have this. <laughs> That's it. I would order my cause before I'm going to see. I told you it was arguing. I'm going to order my cause. Fill my mouth with arguments so God can release me Jesus. from paying the cost. You know, this one, God, I want God to release me. How many of y'all wanted God to release me? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to talk to Pastor Dana. I'm going to talk to the same thing. Oh, you want God to release you. Hallelujah. But you won't know what you're made of to be released. Jesus, let me go. I'm like, this, I'm going to get Jesus. this. I'm gonna get he said, I would know the words. I know what God's going to say. And I understand what he would say to me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He will plead against me with his great power. No. But he will put strength. Watch this. I complain, but God still puts strength in me. Mm -hmm. If you listen to them saints, when you go around, child, just, oh, bear it and don't say nothing about it. Oh, baby. Because you know what they did? They were smoking and drinking. and they, That's what they was doing. And I'm telling you what to do. Go to God and say, listen, God, right here. Right. I've been in this for six years right here. See, she says, I've been in this. Now, now be careful because God's going to have a case this against this. you. And what God says to you, you might not like because there might be some work that you need to do. Right. 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 God's been telling you six years to do that work, but you know, you've been in your flesh for six years. Amen. Now, when you go to God, listen, listen, it's like going to Pastor Johnny. When you go to Pastor Johnny, Pastor Dana, you don't know what's going to come out. <laughs> Man. I told you two years ago to do so and so. You did. Oh, God, listen. Careful. How many times I got to repeat the same thing over? Listen, I'm trying to tell you, God's not going to tell you a new word until you live the old word. No, he's not. No, he's not. No new word. Come on, mother, they like word. no new word. Amen. Do your first word over again. Thank you, mother. Come on, no new word. I want a new fresh word. There ain't no new word. And you go to church to church to find a new word. No. No new word. I'm a prophet. No new word. My God. I'm an apostle. No, no new word. word. What you gonna do when God is silent about yourself? You can prophesy to everybody about everybody else's stuff, but your stuff is ratchet and toil. Your witness is damaged. And then you want to prophesy to everybody else and your integrity is all more. God has no fresh word. And the real people of God don't want to even hear what you got to say out of your mouth until you get to the place of repent. Okay. Listen. All right. I said you've always been this way. I don't know. God is doing this. Yeah. 
He said, but God will put strength in me. There the righteous might dispute with him. So should I be delivered forever from my judge. Then this is what he said, look, I go forward. Pastor, mm -hmm. they don't know what this scripture means, do they? He said, look, Connor, I'm going forward. Yeah. He's not there. Mm -hmm. God, where are we? Mm -hmm. Right, Sassy? Am I helping you, Sassy? Where are you, God? I've been praying the end of session, laying out before the Lord. I'm fell out in front of the saints and give every prophetic word. And now I'm in this. Where, where you at, God? I'm going, I'm going forward, God, but you're not there. Right. That's what he said. Right. Mm -hmm. He said, I went backward. Wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I, I can't even perceive you. I, mean, I couldn't even think. I couldn't even my mind couldn't see where you were. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the left hand where he doth work. Watch this. He said, Joseph, on the left hand where you work, I can't even behold where you are. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because there's sometimes in your life where God is working, you won't be able to hold the work. Jesus. Mother, they don't know. Because some people believe God always tells them everything about everything. Don't go for that sentence. Do not. That's a lie. Because anytime God tells you everything and give you all of his agenda, that makes you equal to God. And God will never have it equal. Never. When I prophesy every day, go back and listen again. <laughs> and I got prophets in my church. You may not be able to get prophesied. Listen, there ought to be some Sunday, right, David? When the Lord is in his holy temple, let all the earth be silent before him. But sometimes when people prophesy to you, that's their agenda. That's right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You ought to be in a place in your life where you what you're looking for is confirmation. That part right there. That you ought to be, if you're talking to God, then you don't need nobody to give you no I fresh word. I'm gonna talk about the people stuff. I don't need no fresh word, he did. If I've been laying before God. Matter of fact, there's no fresh word. It's the same word that he gave me that he gave in my mama's womb. I told you in the last few scripture, God spoke some things in our spirit, even when we were in the womb. They did. He knew your name. Amen. Even when. Right. Now I just heard God say it was a spiritual name. My God. Right. 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 My God. My God. Therefore, when people call me out my name, because yeah. they don't know my spiritual name, I don't answer. Right. Ah. Yes, <laughs> Because I, I no longer answer to a name wow. that God didn't give me. Mm. That's why folks can't get in my spirit no more. They used to be able to get in my spirit. But you, you, you just tell me, I know who I have for me. And I've been persuaded. I've been, I've been persuaded. Now by, and he's able to keep that which I have committed unto him. See, you thought that I was committed to you, but I committed to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Nobody asked you to think. I was singing with y'all, but I wasn't really, I really wasn't good. Listen, Mom, I'm going to help him. I was singing because I was on assignment. Yeah. I wasn't committed to you. I was committed to God. That's it. And did they pick on me and laugh at Yes, they did. I was like, all right, but I'm getting on this show. I need to go home one time so I can get to my, my mama house and I have a drama at home. <laughs> Said on the left hand where he got work, I cannot behold him. He hided himself on the right hand, right hand of blessing. God's hiding himself that I can't not see him. This is a good part. But he knows the way that I take. Yes, my God. When you're struggling, I want y'all to know God knows the way that you take. Yes. Yes. Amen. That's why I can get happy. Yeah. When I can't find him, he still knows where to find him. Mm -hmm. Woo! Right. Mother Lee, did you hear what I when I can't find him? Yes. Right. He is. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. He's Even in Sheol. He's long as I got him. Even in hell. If I make my bed in hell, who knows where to find him? Watch this. Even if I can't get out of the hell, I created it for myself. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to, some of us created it out for ourselves. Yes. Listen, you can't get out of hell until you own the hell. Yes. But if you have enough strength to call from your place of hell, God will find you. Yes. God. Honor. God will find you. Yes. How you know, Pastor? Because God found me. Mm. All right, we're not going to dance today. Mm -hmm. But he knows the way, Pastor Dana, that I take. He knows the way. You don't have to know the way, King. God knows the way. You don't have to figure it out. You don't have to. All you got to do is ride through the process. Go, don't do it. Don't do it. Go, go ahead, business manager. Tasha said, all you got to do is hold on. Do the process. Hey, look, mother. All you got to do, mother. Yeah. Mother, they miss it. All you got to do is hold on through the process. He knows where you are. He knows. he knows where to find you right he in the struggle. 
Amen. Amen. Notice where you're not going to find him, but he can tell you never if God can find you. God can find me. Listen, it's like hide go seek. Everybody. You think you hide from God, but God said, no, Dave, you under here. Right here. Hello. How you doing? That's why some of y'all can't get away from the call of God and you're like, God said, you're right here. How you doing? Here you go. Here you go. Can I do this one more time? I'm going to go in the club and hide from God. God said, I'm coming in the club. Maybe he's shut up. 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 Going down to the crack house. I'm not going to find God. God said, listen, I'm the God of the crack house. The crack house can't stop me from going to There's no spirit in the, listen, there's no spirit in the crack house that can keep my door from going in. I just love God. Listen, y'all hear what I'm saying? The saints can tell you God can't meet you in the crack house and you got to come out the crack house. Oh, no, baby. God, the eyes of the Lord run to and fro. You have all the earth. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness. Meet you in the land up with somebody you're not supposed to lay over. Oh, I need is a Jesus. Yes. Joy, he's a God. 
in. Oh, listen. Oh, so much am I. Look at my mind. The field is white.
Lord's doing. No God Almighty, David, I didn't, I, I don't even know how I got here. This is the Lord's doing. Somebody must have prayed about Johnny. <laughs>
today. It's time to go. And I want to serve the neighborhood. And now may the grace of God. Just your right hand. And now may the grace of God. And now may the grace of God. And the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit. Rest over.